What is up, Destiny fans? I am like you. I'm a true loyalist. I've been playing this game since D1. And I've been a warlock since Destiny 1. I have not really f switched sides. I do have about two other characters, but I rarely play them. Um, and today I am going to show you how to master the sword. One. The trick with the sword is to not show anyone that you have one for one. Because obviously if they see you running around with a sword, people tend to run the other way. Um, as they should. Shut the enemy down. Close range, there is really nothing that beats the sword other than the shotgun. Ever since they made the switch to the shotgun being secondary weapon now, which has been very frustrating by the way, it definitely puts a new twist on wielding a sword. Um, before the shotgun was a heavy, you know, playing fields are pretty pretty similar. But now everybody and their mother is running around with a shotgun in Crucible. So anyways, with the sword, I have found that the Warlock Voidwalker class is the best class to fit yourself with a sword. You will want to make sure that Blink is on. Blink, unlike any other uh, jump ability, it allows you to quickly dodge and jump around. Um, obviously, a lot of people would probably argue that the Hunter is the best class to use for a sword because of the dodge. Uh, I disagree. I would take any Hunter on. And I feel like if it was sword versus sword, I would come out ahead 95% of the time. As you can see, I don't fuck around. The blink strike is crucial with your sword. Another tip for sword users is the third person point of view. And this gives you a greater advantage to seeing around corners and kind of getting a better idea of your surroundings. Use this. Um, I'm not saying camp, but definitely uh, when your radar starts going off or you sense the enemy is, in cl is closing up around you, crouch, pull out the sword, get near the corner, and wait. Watch. See which directions are going. Watch your mi mini maps. Now, a lot of crucible fighters, titans especially, love to do their jumps and then hover in the air before coming around a corner. So be looking up as much as you are looking straight forward or down. Hold down. And the third tip is the way you strike. There's two different sword play strikes. You can use your right bumper. The right bumper triggers a quick slash sword, sword slash, where the right trigger does a sword uppercut. Um, this is usually double the ammo cost, but it does double the damage. I personally use the right bumper 95% of my attacks. The only time that a uppercut is called for is when you are jumping into uh, a group of people. If you're going into a group, the uppercut will wipe out more than one person per swipe. Uh, but you can make the right bumper last longer. I can average four kills per sword pickup with the right bumper versus a uppercut where you only get two to three max. So I hope you enjoyed these three solid sword tips. As you can see, I have wrecked Increasable many times with the sword methods and tactics. Even with Destiny's updates and constant changing of how weapons and the mechanics work, as frustrating as that might be sometimes for us, I have still made these formulas work throughout. It worked in Destiny 1 and it still works to this day. Blink, get in there, Use the third person point of view to your advantage. Look around corners, don't expose yourself, and very rarely run around with the sword out. Pull it out as you need it, and use the right bumper over the uppercut. You do those three things, you're gonna do just fine. Unless you come across me, I'm gonna dominate that ass then. As always, please comment below with any questions, concerns, or suggestions of your own on this particular topic. Thank you. and. Look forward to sharing with you some more tips of the trade soon.
You show no remorse. That's how you should be on a battlefield.